Hey everybody, this is Connie with CC Collections and I brought you something a little bit different today while giving you some more information on what I'm going to be doing on my channel. One of the things I'm going to be doing is taking you and showing you some of the sites around my neck of the woods in central Arkansas, uh, starting with North Little Rock, of course. Um, one place here that a lot of people come and tour and um, the first thing I'm bringing you to is this is the Arkansas River and we have the privilege of having bought the USS Razorback which is a submarine that has served in two countries first the US and then we bought it North Little Rock bought it back uh, from Turkey um, you can see the there you go you see part of it behind me there sticking up and let me flip the camera around here so I can see what I'm showing you there's a Navy boat there we have a Maritime Museum so you can uh, see all kinds of things and I'm not going to go through the museum but you see the submarine back there and they've got the touring ramps going across it there's another part of it up there the USS Razorback was built in by the Portsmouth Navy shipyard in Kittery Maine it was laid down in September 9th of 1943 was launched on January 27th of 1944. It was commissioned on April 3rd of 1944, and it was decommissioned November 30th of 1970, where it was then um, sold to Turkey uh, on 1130, 1970, commissioned on 12 17 71, decommissioned August of 2004, when and then North Little Rock bought it in March of 2004. Oh, well, it was decommissioned in August of 2003. Or one, 2001, sorry. We bought it. It was brought back here. And it had to, they had to use uh, barges and pontoon boats to raise it up out of the water, but keep it low enough to go under some of the bridges because there are shallow parts in the river. You can see some of it shallow down there now, even after all the flooding we've had here in Arkansas this year. Uh, later on, I'll take y'all uh, more of a tour. The, Ark the USS Razorback was not named after the um, mascot of the University of Arkansas, the Arkansas Razorbacks. It was named after whales, a particular west, uh, breed of whales from the southernmost parts of the Pacific Ocean. That is an old railroad bridge that they've turned into a walking bridge. The one you see down on the other side of the freeway is also a walking bridge. And I don't know how many of you care, but if you can see that building across the river underneath the freeway bridge, with kind of the mirror windows that is the William Jefferson Clinton Presidential Library I will take you to it but that is the skyline of Little Rock not much of a skyline I can tell you it's not some I mean there's some big buildings but not that big and I don't think, I'm not sure you can see the Capitol from here. I know the bridge part is in the way. I will take you to the Capitol because our state Capitol is not an exact, exact rap, replica, but it is a, they use the nation's Capitol as a model for it. Uh, yeah, you can see it way back there in the, under, going underneath that one bridge over the top of the other one.
And then this is my hometown. And this is what they call Riverfront Park. And this used to be a dirt road where we did drag racing and stuff when I was a teenager. And that wall where all the paintings is, that was called the River Wall because that was basically the wall they built to keep the water in if it flooded. Parts of it have been de uh, taken down. There's sections in it where you could drive through and they used to sand those, put sandbags up for those. They had them stored to the side. So if they needed to, they could come sandbag the areas. Yeah, a lot of parties down here and a lot of drag racing and hanging out. They don't allow you from, to fish from this section of the river because of the uh, museum part here, but a lot of fishing on this river. And we'll see other sections of the river because I want to take you out Burns Park uh, one day. <laughs> Now, what I wanted to talk to you about my channel was we got some exciting things coming up and we are, y'all have to forgive the no makeup, but if you knew the humidity in Arkansas, you would understand the humidity and heat makes makeup feel nasty. Um, I'll be having an auction this Wednesday and then I'll be having an auction. I believe it's a Thursday, but it's on the 22nd. That will be my birthday. And whew, I'm not sure what all we're going to do about auctions and jewelry after that. Although I have been making some and I'll be doing a video on finished jewelry pretty soon. But in September, I'm going to have a giveaway and coupons available to be given for um, a scavenger hunt. What I'd like to know is if there's anybody that is willing to uh, help me with the scavenger hunt. I would like this to be, I mean, the way I've got it planned is to hide clues within some of my videos as far as the, in the comments. But if some people want to be part of the scavenger hunt, you can hold up a card or um, tell a clue during one of your videos or something coming up that can be part of. I haven't worked out exactly how, how the scavenger hunt's going to, as far as the question's going to be or what you're going to be looking for, but I just thought maybe you could... Some of you might want to have clues hidden within your video. And if I point to your video from one of my clues, then that's watch times you're going to get, you know, hours on your channel where people are watching to find the clues. Um, or at least going on to find the clues. And I'm, I'll make it to where... You know, they're, one of the things they need to do is subscribe to all channels involved in the scavenger hunt. If you would like to do this, you can contact me via email uh, at cccollection at yahoo.com. That is posted in my about on my channel, and uh, we can discuss it more later. I'm, I'm trying to work that up there in August because I want to do that in September and maybe a second one in October. And then I have another a program I want to do if, you, if people are interested in kind of like a loyalty card type situation like at Barnes and Noble and stuff where you buy into a club and then you get a pretty deep discount or you know coupons mailed to your email to you or you know newsletters and and I'm also going to be starting a couple of series one on brand names one on stones um, I've got a couple of places I'm looking at to get some to get sponsors to uh, sponsor me on the stone school so that I can have samples and uh, that's the most important thing I need from them but I would be like 
advertising for them um, on my channel so that and also coming up I am at 400 subscribers so I'm only a hundred away from my 500 subscribers if y'all can help me get up that I've got already got the giveaway I've already showed it to y'all the uh, little fan um, porcelain jewelry box uh, from Avon and with the butterflies and flowers on it with the Verona glass bead set uh, that I made. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else because all I made notes on was the Razorback. Um, oh, I am going, our, the next tour thing will probably be the old mill um, here in my hometown. I don't know if y'all all know it, but the, the meal that's in the opening credits of the movie, the award-winning movie, Gone with the Wind, is in um, North Little Rock, and it's been a, um, celebrities have been there, some of the celebrities from the original movie. It is the only known building from the movie that's still standing, and, um, it's used for weddings and people take pictures there and it's different ceremonies go on there. My son, my youngest son's crossover from Cub Scouts to Boy Scouts was there. Um, it's real pretty uh, lake and natural bridges and it's just really awesome out there. It's really pretty and I will be bringing that to it and I'll even probably walk it and tour that one for you because that one's free of charge. But it's it's kind of neat. I've had my picture taken there in a uh, by a semi-professional. He wasn't, he, di he didn't work as a photographer for a full time. He, it was his hobby, but people did pay him to take pictures and my parents paid him to take my, a series of pictures of me and up at the, um, market but now you can say you have seen the Arkansas River and the USS um, Razorback and you'll get a better view of that in the future uh, if y'all would like this please like this video if you like uh, this kind of thing and I will try to get you more up and running as the fall comes up will be a uh, it gets really pretty around here with the leaves changing and stuff and I might even take a trip out into the country so you can see the foliage and stuff changing um, now I said this was riverfront park but there's a riverfront park over in Little Rock too I don't know if you can see that open pavilion over there it's an amphitheater for a lot of concerts and stuff. I've seen Boston there and someone else. I just can't ever remember who it was. And that's been in the last 25 years. And one day I'll take you to War Memorial Stadium, which was built built after World War One or World War Two, and um, is the Little Rock home of the Arkansas Razorbacks because the Arkansas Razorbacks are um, stationed in uh, their school, University of Arkansas at Fayetteville. That, they, yeah, they're in Fayetteville, Arkansas, up northwest Arkansas. Close to just Cindy Lovin, but not right there. And, uh, but when they come to Little Rock to play, they usually play at War Memorial Stadium and some of the high schools uh, there. And they have a couple, couple of different, uh, like craft fairs and uh, different things there. But um, I saw the Rolling Stones there, which was awesome. And that's been a while back too. And um, so I hope y'all enjoyed this feel, this, uh, video please thumbs up please subscribe if you have it and let me know what y'all think on things and I will talk to y'all later bye